Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters and in this video I'm going to be restoring this dinky so number 174 the Hudson Hornet these were produced from 1955 until 1959 so 60 65 years old maybe so we'll take it off the turntable and have a closer look at it. It's all there, apart from the worn out tyres. Just a bit scruffy, There's a little bit of corrosion on the base. And somebody's given it a jolly old repaint. And the windscreen doesn't look cracked, but it's got paint on it. But I think a great candidate for a restoration and it won't need any spare parts apart from new tyres. So I'll start out drilling out these two posts and then I can take the base off. Right, with those drilled out, I can just pop the base off there. It's quite a thin steel base on this car. Right, next for the windscreen. It does have a crack in it, but it's only across the top, thankfully. You can't see it from the outside. So I'll drill out the tab that's holding that in. Right, now I'm going to try and pop out the windscreen, but it's not coming out. And I don't really want to drill it anymore, so I'm going to move on to a round burr on my Dremel. So I'm speeding it up, trying to take off the edges of the post there. And pop the window out but it's just not happening and you can see how many times I had to go back in with a Dremel I can feel that the windows are a little bit brittle and it's already got that crack in it so I really don't want to push it too hard and break it Still not budging. And finally, I get it to pop out. There we go. Right, so there is the windscreen. And now I'm going to take off these tires. You can see they're really old and perished and just crumble into pieces. Okay, there's all the tires off. Next, I'm going to have to grind down the ends of the axles to remove the wheels. So I've just taped them off to protect them and I'm going to grind down the ends of one side of each axle. Next I'll remove that tape that I put over them and then I should be able to just pop the rim off. And there's the <clears throat> and there's the wheels off of the chassis. 
Now you can see it's a little bit corroded, a mild rust on there and also the black coating on it is all worn off. So I'm going to give it a going over with a wire brush on my Dremel, remove the bulk of that corrosion and the old black. So here it is after I've cleaned it up and I'm going to re-black it with some gun blue. So just applying some of that with a cotton bud and that should make it nice and black again. So I left it on there for about five minutes, I suppose. And then I'll rinse it off with some water. Take a look at it. I think I'll give it another application. Let's see if I can get it a bit blacker. And I'll do the other side as well. And here it is after I've washed it off and dried it. So I can put that aside and move on to the body casting. So we're going to have to remove all of that horrible looking old paint off of it. Brushing on some paint stripper to do this. And I've put the rims on a piece of wire. I'm just going to dip them straight into the can of paint stripper. So you can see this was originally a yellow model. And they were yellow with grey uh, accents, a like grey roof and the stripes on the side were grey. Here's the paint after about five minutes of the stripper sitting on it. Most of it's starting to peel away, so I'll give that a wash in some water. You can see there's still a bit of stubborn old paint left on there. I'll give that another application of the paint stripper. As I was mentioning, this was a yellow and grey version. Uh, there was also a red and cream version, and I just think that the yellow and grey looks terrible so I'm going to paint this in the red and cream paint scheme. Uh, here's all the castings after the paint stripping. You can see there's still a bit of paint hanging on there and plenty of oxidation so they're going to get a clean up with a wire brush on my rotary tool. Here I'm doing the rims as well, making sure I don't let go of them and flick them across the room and lose them. And here's the castings after a clean up. A really nice detailed model that body is there. Next I'm going to drill and tap those posts so that I can use a couple of screws to put it back together again later. 
I'm using a centre punch here just to mark out the centre of the posts and then I'll drill them out and it's a 1.7 millimetre drill and I'm using a 256 tap and 256 button head screws. And there's our posts tapped and ready to go. Now we can move on to painting it. I'll start out with some white primer. And then I can give it a couple of nice coats of red. Next, I'm going to mask off the roof there. And I hit that with some cream. All right, so now I'll carefully take off that masking and see how it came out. Okay, looking pretty good, I think. So I can move on to those side stripes. So again, I've used tape to mask them off and just a little bit of liquid mask and that curve there over the wheel well. And then hit that with the same cream. And I'm gonna take this masking off, off camera because I needed to be really careful. And here's how that's come out. So I'm really happy with that. Uh, next, I detailed the grill and the bumpers in silver and also some orange on the rear indicators there. And I finished all of this with a nice coat of gloss varnish. Uh, moving on to the hubs. These need to be cream, so I give them a coat of white primer and then a couple of coats of the cream and then the gloss varnish. Uh, I'm going to give the axles here just a quick clean up with some sandpaper. Here I've got some nice new white tires. So I'll take them out of the bag. And these just press on to the rims. Easy as. Aren't they looking much better than the perished old ones that I pulled off of the original car? Okay, so the next thing I'm going to have to do is to put them back onto the chassis. So there, I'll put one in place. And then I'll use Marty's method with a couple of flattened off and hollowed out uh, nails and my drill press to flatten off the end of the axle there. And there you go. There's the wheels on easy as. Okay the final part is this windscreen here with that paint all over it. So I've got a jar here with some hot water in it from the tap and I'm going to 
put in a spoonful or so of caustic soda. Just mix that up and then drop in my windscreen. And uh, I'll leave this for about five minutes or so. Here it is five minutes or so later and you can see that paint starting to dissolve off there see it's already staining the water most of it's actually gone off the plastic already so I'll take that and rinse it off and here's how it came out it's looking pretty good just as is could almost get away without doing anything else to that but I will Put some uh, plastic polish on it and give it a polish. And here's how it came out looking after all of that. A really nice shine on it now. So that's all the hard work done pretty much. And here's the parts of our dinky Hudson Hornet ready to go back together. The first thing I'll do is to put the windscreen back in. So I'll just press it in there. Make sure it's on as well as it's going to go. And to hold that on, I'm going to redo the uh, little post there, rivet with a little ball of this epoxy putty. Uh, just press that on where the old rivet was and it'll leave it to cure for 10 minutes. And once that was cured, the final step is just to plonk on the base there and I'll screw that on with a couple of these wee button head screws. And so that's everything done pretty much. Just need to take a look at the finished car. But just before we do that, we'll take a look back at what we started with. Here it is, looking a jolly mess. It's messy, chipped repaint there. Perished old tires, paint all over the windscreen. But I think underneath lies a true classic. So let's see what we can do with it. And here it is, our finished, restored, dinky Hudson Hornet. I think it's looking much tidier now. Repainted in a nice new red and cream paint job. Uh, the windscreen's been cleaned up and given a polish. And of course those new white tires on it. Definitely make a big difference. I think it's a great looking toy car. You can let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, before I go, I'll throw a big thanks out as always to my awesome Patreon supporters. Thanks heaps. Uh, check out the links below. There's one to my other channel and you can get some cheap super glue down there. Thanks heaps for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it like and subscribe and all that stuff and i'll catch you in the next one